Hello, my name is Milexis Sutter and I am from Venezuela. It's in South America. And my immigration story is not the same as other stories. Um, I didn't come to the United States for money, um, nor for my own education. We had money, we had a home, I had a good school. The reason why we came was for my brother. He has cerebral palsy and he needed help. Uh, in my country, people like him do not have resources. They cannot study, they don't have medical care, and they're practically nothing to society. Um, he could only go to school until he was 12, to some special schools that were extremely expensive. And my family was blessed to have the money necessary for him to go to that school. After that, um, a principal in another school took him in until he was 14. And by, by that time we had to figure out what to do. He was not a nothing to society and we loved him and we wanted him to have more opportunity like anybody else. And we felt the need that we had to change that. So when he was 13 and I was 14, my parents who are LDS um, decided that it was best to pray and ask the Lord where he would guide us. My dad is from Chile and we, we were considering Chile. They have great education for my brother. The economy is good. The country itself, it's doing really well. So we thought for sure the Lord will send us there. But then somebody had mentioned the United States. So we figured it couldn't hurt to post that as an option. We prayed and we felt strongly that it was United States. And that was really hard for my dad especially. He grew up in a wealthy household where he never had to work or do hard labor. And for him to come as a third class citizen uh, was an extremely difficult decision. But because he knew that the Lord had um, sent us here, he went along with the Lord. He never looked back. He never complained. Once we got to the United States, he said, this is our country now, and we will obey the laws. And we did. We took this as our country, and we loved it the minute that we stepped into it. Um, my dad had to do a lot of labor jobs, cleaning floors, um, which he's never done. Um, we, to just give a little example, we didn't have people that did that for us in our home. We never had to do laundry, um, we hardly ever had to cook, and we had a good life, pretty easy. So for my dad to do that and have two or three jobs sometimes, to me, it made me feel more um, love for him and appreciation for all the sacrifices he made for my brother and I. Like I knew he loved us because he would do anything for us. Now coming to the United States was a big change, the language was different. It's still hard for my parents. Obviously, I was young. I was almost 15 years old by the time we came. So it was easier for me to learn the language. And for my brother, he picked it up a little bit. He's a special needs, so it's hard. But my brother did have the education and resources he needed. We were able to talk to therapists and psychiatrists for him. We were able to take him to school. He was studying until he was 21 years old. He was able to hold jobs. There are many, many good resources in the church too, in the gospel here in the United States, where there are activities weekly for special needs children. And in here, we didn't get the dirty looks that we would get in Venezuela because he was a special. And here is different. There are more loving and kind people. Um, I am grateful for the United States and for the freedom that we have, in his case especially. Though it was hard, we have to get accustomed to a life that we have never experienced before. Um, I am grateful. I have never complained of that. I cannot, because I know we have been extremely blessed. At the time, we had not been hit by the, the economy as it is now. And the president at the time uh, was Chavez. He had been the president for three years. And yet, we still had not suffered any difficulties regarding the government. But we got out just in time, and the fact that we did also is a huge blessing.